YouTube, this is World of Warcraft of Pro, and I'm bringing you guys some more in depth. And this time, we're doing, we're covering LMGs from the games from COD 4 and really to Black Ops 2. Although the, we can go into ghosts a little bit, but I don't have any ghosts in the interest of time. I don't really have any ghost footage for you guys. So anyway, guys, just sit back, relax, and hope you enjoy. So the first gun we have here is RPD. So as you saw earlier, it does 40 damage. It doesn't have a damage drop off like other many other LMGs. Do, and it's it's a good representative of LMGs in general in COD 4, even though there are only three of them. And we will be covering all three. So anyway, I believe in COD 4 they have some of the most balanced LMGs. Without stopping power, the RPD could kill in three hits in any range. Two with stopping power. The M60 can kill two without stopping power in close range, but that's a different gun. We'll get into that later. So this is just, this is fairly balanced at all. It has a rate of fire of 700 RPM. And it is overall it's just a very balanced gun. Very good. So if you guys haven't tried this out already, you guys play COD 4, you guys definitely should. So anyway, yeah, just one of the most balanced LMGs there is. Like it's a good it's a good it's a good representative of LMGs in COD 4. So now we're on to the M60. The M60 can kill in two to three hits depending on the range. It kills two hits at close range and, and three at a distance. The reason it kills it too is because of the extremely slow rate of fire, which it only fired at at 600 rounds per minute. And that's pretty slow compared to, like I said, the 700, the 705 of the RPD, or even the 937 of the the, the saw. So to make up for that, the developers thought it was necessary to give it a higher than average damage. So with this gun, stopping power is not necessary. Is not that necessary. But I use it in this gameplay just because I'm used to running that. I mean, if you're using this, you should probably use something like Juggernaut. Maybe even Slide of Hand or Double Tap. But as you can see, the M60 has a lot of recoil. A lot, a lot more than other ones. But the, the, when using the M60, the best grip by far, in my opinion, is the grip. It's, it's by far. You, you'll see throughout the gameplay here that sometimes my recoil is uncontrollable. And you can see, just going all over the place. And that really slows down the time to kill. Sure, sure, it may have the highest damage per round of LMGs, but if you can't hit your shots, your, your time to go to kill goes way down. See here, and like that, I'm just missing shots, wasting ammo. So the port actually is pretty important. Definitely, definitely gotta use the grip. So here's the grip. Now the grip adds 20% center speed. Which means that your snipes will return to uh, to the will reset to their original position 20% faster, which is which is a big deal. That's pretty more that's pretty powerful. They'll just give you a perspective. The Black Ops 2 grip only gives you 2% center speed, while this one gives you 20. So that's that's a that's a 10% that's 10 times better than the Black Ops 2 one. So definitely useful, but I mean you do have to give up your first perk. But I usually run a bandolier. But it's not always that necessary given how much ammo this has and given how, much, how powerful it is. So definitely consider giving grip a chance because as you can see, look, I have much better control over over my rate of, over my fire. Much better control. I'm missing less shots, getting more kills. It's just better in general. Okay, now think of it, guys. Actually, you can run stopping power with that, but that's only good really against. Uh, Against Juggernaut users. Okay, here's the M249 saw. So it does the lowest damage to LMGs in this game. So it's it's one of those da low damage hybrid fire LMGs. I mean, it has somewhat lower recoil, and somewhat low recoil, but it has a high rate of fire, goes through ammo quickly, and it's weak. I typically don't like it as much just because it's a four hit kill. I usually like the higher damage, lower rate of fire ones, but it's still pretty good. You guys still try it out. So I mean, so it does do, so I mean, it's a 4 hit kill in any range. 937 rounds per minute fires much faster than many other automatic weapons in this game. So, okay, here's World of War, so. First off, we have, the, we have the MG42. But before we get into that, I'd like to show you guys some 
So one of the attachments in this game, which is the bipod, which basically reduces recoil to zero in exchange for mobility. You can't move from your turret when you're mounted. So it's a pretty cool thing. But also the MG42 is very similar to the, the, the saw. It does do, so it has a 937 rounds per minute uh, rate of fire. And it does 30 damage, but the only the thing that makes it kind of underpowered, in my opinion, it, it only has 50 rounds in a magazine. It should have at least 100. I, mean, I think it should, but I mean, just to balance it with other weapons in this game, given that there were, there are essentially no assault rifles in World of War. I mean, sure, there's this there's this Sturm Gewehr, but that that's just that's just one out of like what the, all the other rifles are semi-automatic. So that this kind of just balance it. I understand why the developers did that. But it just, but given the, the the relatively low magazine and the high rate of fire combined with the low damage, it means that your bullets are basically you're basically shooting marshmallows much of the time. It feels like, but uh, hey, there, there we saw some of the Type 99. The Type 99 is interesting. So it does it's a three to four hit kill. It does have a damage drop off because it's one of the lighter machine guns, not the heavy machine guns in this game. Lighter machine guns do have damage drop off, like the bar does too. But uh, it, it is pretty competitive with other guns, so I typically don't use it. I like the heavier weapons, but it is, it is good. But okay, so we're going on the Browning. Team. The Browning is similar to the MG42, but it has higher damage in turn in exchange for a low rate of fire, a much lower rate of fire. So, so 625 rounds per minute. That's compared to the 937 rounds of the of the Magnum, or not the Magnum, the, the MG42. But it has it has a 40 damage, which means a three hit kill at any range. Two with stopping power. It still has the same magazine size, same reload time. I mean, this was done to balance out the LMGs. But zombies, for example, the MG42 has a quicker reload. So that was done to balance it. That, I mean, in my opinion, I like the MG42 better just because of the iron sights. But yeah, the, the brown definitely has its strengths. But here I take out a tank with my kind of Browning. You see the kill feed? Browning killed that guy in the tank. I mean, it has, it has like about the same amount of recoil, I would say, as, as uh, an MG42. So, okay, so here's model for two. Now, here's the RPD. It's pretty much unchanged from the, from a uh, COD 4. It's pretty much the same as COD 4 counterpart. So, it still has 40 damage, still has 705 rounds per minute. Rate of fire, just basically unchanged. I mean, it's still good. When you put stop power on it, it becomes a two-hit kill at any range. Doesn't matter if they're two two feet away from you or all the way across the map, you'll still get a two-hit kill. So LMGs are really good in this game, just because because of stopping power, and also they're just good on their own. But also a good, another good thing is you can add, if you want to add grip, you can add grip and I believe it does, it works similarly to how grip worked in COD 4 where it has 20% and it has center speed. I believe it works that way. I'm not sure, sure, I don't know for a fact, but it definitely works more than the grip in the Triart games, it seems like. So I'll definitely run that and the best part of that is you don't have to replace perk 1. I mean, I don't know why you did have had to in a COD 4, but you don't have to give up anything for that. But in Modern for 2, much of the guns, so much of the guns are pretty, well they're all, they're all good LMGs, and some of them like the M240, are, are, they have 30 damage and they take 4 hit kills at range, and like it's the same thing with the, the MG4 and they have a rate of fire of 937 and 857 respectively, so the definitely higher rate of fire, lower damage. LMG. So, I mean, I, I don't really use the lower damage ones because I don't know, like, you have to be more accurate with them. You definitely do. Because if, you're, if you, you, need, you need to hit the four bolts on target to get a kill, you have to be much more accurate rather than just putting, like, three with a regular, with a low rate of fire LMG. And plus, plus, high rate of fire guns tend to, tend to waste more ammo. They tend not to be as well. I, I, it's just personal preference, really. I mean, they're all pretty much balanced in their own way.
So anyway, yes, the LMGs are pretty good. We're pretty good overall in this game. There really weren't any damage drop-offs. Those didn't really come into play that much until Modern for 3, I'm going to say. Or until a little after that, maybe. But definitely the LMGs of, uh, of recent CODs don't even come close to how good they were in older CODs. Just some gaming mechanic changes, a few, like a few changes here and there can make a big difference. Also, let's go over the mobility. Just, I want to just touch on this point. So mobility of, of uh, LMGs in games before Modern Warfare 3 was about 87.5% of normal base speed. The ADS time was about was about three millise with 300 milliseconds compared to like assault rifles with 250. And in newer Call of Duty, like let's say Call of Duty Ghost for example, for LMGs, for most of them ex except the chainsaw, it's 80%. The chainsaw is 90% of mobility. So okay, so that's a mobility nerf right there. And they have a, a nerf, a further nerf of the ADS time. The ADS time of LMGs and Ghosts. 350 milliseconds, which means that overall it's hard when you, when you handicap weapons like that in terms of mobility, it makes it really hard to play aggressively. And the developers see, seem to want people to play aggressively for the objective stuff, but it seems kind of more intuitive to kind of to nerf mobility that hard. Because because when you nerf mobility that hard, you, you take away the tools to rush, people aren't going to want to rush, and maybe, maybe that's why Ghost is so slow for mobility nerf. That, that applies to another, a lot of other weapons too, but let's move on. Here's Call of Duty Black Ops. So here I'm, in, as you can see here, I'm in combat training using my M60. The M60 is pretty much the same as its COD4. It's pretty much same, coded the same as COD4 variant. It's a COD4 variant. So of course, 50 to 40 damage. It's only, it's only LMG in Black Ops that has a damage drop off. All the other LMGs just stay at a constant 40 damage. So that includes the RPK, the HK, and even the Stoner. Even though the Stoner has a really fast rate of fire, 937.5 rounds per minute. The RPK, PK, and the HK both fire at 750. So, anyway, there's a difference there. So, basically, the only, the only, the only thing that M M60 really outguns the RP the all the other ones is the, the, the close range damage which you keep in mind it's only close range you're not gonna get two hit kills at, at a distance or even medium range but. so at longer range you will be outgunned by those guns because you will be doing the same exact damage you have higher recoil and yeah you you just you slow rate of fire but the advantages that 60 does have is that you can use you, you it has a 100 round magazine none of the other guns have that even with the, for example, the RPK, the RPK only has 40, the HK21 and the Stoner both have 30 as default. You can increase the, the HK and the, the Stoners to 60 to put a Cinemax on, and, and the RPK to 80. But with the, with the M60, you can increase it to 200. So I'm going to say this is the only true LMG in Black Ops, because all the other ones function more like a soul rifle. But except you can't add silencers and other stuff like that. So here's Model for 3. Mark 3 has some pretty good LMGs. The LMGs, typically, they fall like after the buffs. There was some LMG buffs a while back. They don't. They don't really. They don't. They all have a three hit kill. Really, they don't. They don't have that damage drop off. Like I believe. I, I don't know what they were before patch, but I believe some of them would go out to four hit kills. But I believe they're all at three hit kills now, which is good because they have a lot of recoil in this game, but uh. If you put a thermal sight or a grip or something on it, it reduces it a lot. Thermal sight especially removes all the gun kick, so you definitely try that out if you haven't already. But that 60 E4 in this game acts like it does, acts like the other ones do. It does two to three hit kill, 600 rounds per minute from rate of fire. The gun I'm using is the L86 LSW, so it has 38 damage and and uh, 800 rounds per minute from fire rate, so that means it's a three hit kill at all ranges. Uh, and about LMG in this game, they really did nerf the mobility to 80 to 80 percent of base speed, I believe. And that applies. So if you, for example, if you ever, if you have an uh, an LMG as your primary, you're always going to be doing 80 to 80 mobility, even if you pull out your secondary like a pistol. So what I recommend, if you really want to improve your mobility, 
run overkill, run like a shotgun or an SMG as your primary. And you run that this is your secondary because whatever your primary weapon is will determine your mobility. So if you run if you run a, a high mobility primary, you will have have high mobility, your your base speed will be higher. If you run a low mobility weapon like an LMG or a sniper rifle, you, your mobility will be lower. So anyway, they did start the end. They didn't. They used to have draw boss in this game, but they didn't really after the patches. So yeah, ultimately those patches were pretty good, and I agree with them. So here's Black Ops 2. Now Black Ops 2 is when our LMGs start to become underpowered. In my opinion, that they start to flip. So for example, the MK48, it does 49 to 30 damage, and it, that that says damage drop offs. Like if you remember, like other guns in Call of Duty history that don't really drop off, especially given that this isn't like a two hit kill out of close range like the M60 and it still has a pretty slow rate of fire. But the thing is the thing is the trade off here is that in, in turn for this lower recoil you have to give up some of the damage and I don't really agree with that. I think I think it makes the LMGs way too easy to use. I prefer them bringing making them more damage, having have more damage but making the recoil a little bit higher just so newbie players can't really master these as easily and they become more skill based but also the MK48 is the only LMG in this game to do to do to do have a 4 hit kill range all the other ones are 5 so hammer does 24 damage the L does 24 damage and the and the the uh, QB the, the the QB one does 20 damage QB does uh, 937 and a half rounds per minute high rate of fire but turn has low damage so 35 to 20 low range too and the and the hammer does the first for seven rounds are fired at 937 and a half rounds per minute so that's higher than the 625 the rest of the rounds of the bursts are fired at so that's the trade-off there and the LSAT has a 750 rounds per minute average so that's why it has lower damage so because it has a higher rate of fire but anyway my MK is my, my in my opinion is the best just because of just because of how I use it so anyway, well, let's get into the ghosts because I don't have any ghost footage here. But the ghosts are very similar to uh, Modern for 3 except the damage drop offs do apply. So 80% mobility again. And 80% mobility, I mean extremely low. 35, 35 uh, I mean 350 millisecond ADS time, extremely slow. Probably one of the factors that contribute to the slowness of the game. But also... Also, just the, those, also the LMGs and Ghosts do have da damage drop-offs, like ridiculous. Like SMGs can outgun LMGs in that game. So the best one, that in my opinion, the M27 does. So does 30, the, the oh no, I mean 48 to let's see, 32 damage. So it's a three to four hit kill. It's not bad, but in 300, like, like five rounds per minute, it's not bad. But but it has it, it but that's even that. Uh, damage up for low rate of fire which makes the gun easier to use I don't really agree with that also those L set which is 800 rounds per minute but does 38 damage to 20 which means it'll be a 3 to 2 5 hit kill and I don't know why the LMGs are 5 hit kills given that the MTAR X is a 4 hit kill at all any range well I mean 3, hit, 3 to 4 hit kill any range I don't really get that plus you don't get heavily penalized for the mobility of the LMGs like you get heavily penalized for mobility of LMGs and ghosts now let's go on the chainsaw. The chainsaw only has 90 mobility, which is the same as an assault rifle in that game, but it only has, but but it has a, so it has basically the same mobility as an assault rifle, but it's only it's only hit hit fire only. So yeah, and it only has 80 rounds per magazine. Let's see what else? The melee from COD Ghost is pretty similar to the M16, and then it has a two hit kill range, but unfortunately, it it goes down to a four hit kill, and it has, still has high recoil. I mean. I don't really agree with that. I mean, I feel like the LMGs and the newer Call of Duties are just too weak, but the, 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 the recoil is just too low to make it easier for noobs to use it, but the damage is lower just to balance it. I really think that LMGs should go back to what they were once were. They should have no damage drop-offs, may mainly be a three-hit kill at all ranges, unless there's something special about it, like the slow rate of fire of the M60, or the high rate of fire of the MG42, or something like that. And I think Call of Duty would be much better overall. And also, the mobility should be pretty much brought up to 87.5. The ADS time should definitely be brought up to 
300 milliseconds, so it can better compete with assault rifles, SMGs, and other weapon classes. And I think that'll be lead to a, a much higher, a much faster paced game, more fun for everyone, pretty much. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my commentary. I hope you enjoy this in depth. And yeah, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This has been World at War Buckles Pro.